Welcome to a day in the life of me, Michael Thurston, living in Dubai. I don't get the stairs anymore because stairs are so. 2018. Nothing like a bit of adrenaline running through your system to wake you up in the morning. I've got a feeling today is going to be a good day. I'm going to start off with a little bit of cardio. I'm going to go downstairs to my little local gym, do 30, 40 minutes of incline walking, and then on to the next activity. Right, so I'm getting into the habit of doing some morning cardio every other day or every three days because I've noticed since I've been here, on average my step count is a little bit less than it was in London. Because in London I was walking to the gym and back here. The walk to this gym isn't a long one and if I'm going to any other gyms, I usually get a taxi or drive there. So this just allows me to keep my step count a little bit higher. Plus at the same time, you know, I'm gonna be stepping onto the beach pretty much every day. So this year I'm all about aesthetics, all about the shreds. I'm not that bothered about getting massive or putting on a lot of size. So this is just going to be an easier way for me to create a bit of a calorie deficit instead of having to, you know, reduce my calorie intake because I like to eat. Ah. So after that little bout of exercise, the exercise continues. I'm going to go to the inflatable park just on the beach outside my apartment and practice some salmon divings because this year is going to be a very eventful one. There's going to be many things I'll be jumping off and I cannot let my skills slip. Every dive has to be on point. So practice makes perfect. Right, so we're out here about to embark on the aquapun path. This is where I do my daily salmon dives. It's a little bit of a tricky one, obviously. We've got an unstable surface. The wetter it gets, the more challenging it is, but Mikey T likes a challenge. Oh. Guys, I haven't been practicing for a while. This is uh, one of the first sessions back, and quite clearly, I'm very rusty, so I do need to step my game up. So, don't judge me, I'll be back to uh, top form in a matter of no time. So, the morning's activities are done, many calories have been burnt, a lot of disappointment has been felt. I'm just going to dry off now, a little spot called Smoky Beach with Louis. I feel like a coffee's in order, so let's go and get a coffee. I like to just take a, a short 15 minute drive to the uh, Burj Al Arab, in case you know which building that one is, it's the one that looks like a massive sail. And get myself a, uh, a gold coffee. So let's go. So here it is, 24 karat gold coffee. What can I say folks, come a long way from making my powdered coffee back in Newcastle years ago. Here we are, Burj Al Arab having a golden coffee. I must say it's a bit of an expensive habit doing this every day, but uh, you know, I've paid the price. This is the way I want to live. Got to make sure that I get all the gold off the cup. Get my money's worth. So that was a very quaint coffee. One thing that's quite interesting is, it is I would say it's cheaper to drive out here. The petrol is Dirty. very, very cheap, especially compared to England. So you can literally just rag your car about and it, you know, that just costs, what, 16 pounds to fill up? Yeah. How much of a tank? Like more than half. More than half. Big tank. More than half tank of an Audi R8, 16 pounds. So if you are new to my channel, you're probably asking yourself, Mike, how on earth are you living this lifestyle? When do you actually do some work? And how do you make money? I have made a video on this before, but if you don't want to watch that and you just want me to summarize here, there's four main sources of income which I get my money from and 
they're all online. So the first one, to the training programs which I sell. The second one, to the ad revenue I get from YouTube. Thirdly, any sponsorship deals or brand deals which I have in place. And fourthly, I set up a swimwear company end of last year, which, since we're on the topic, the glorious, notorious red swim shorts are back in stock. If you are going traveling this summer and you haven't got a pair, sort yourself out. This is the ultimate travel accessory. And also, if you didn't already know, the training program which I offer, there's a huge discount on at the moment. For 30 weeks worth of programming, it's like 40% off, so it's only 50 pounds. So go check that out if you haven't got it. It is the ultimate guide to transforming your physique and making the most out of your training programming. So to summarize, my main job on a day-to-day -day basis is to create content, put content out there, which is gonna allow all of these revenue streams of mine to keep bringing the money in and to basically manage these different businesses, which I have, and to allow them to grow long into the future. So what I do on a typical day is gonna vary quite a lot. It's rare that I'll do the same thing every day. So say for example, today I wanted to mix it up. Came to a place called Train Strength and Fitness Beach Club. Now this place is just spot on for me. It's got an unbelievable gym, which isn't really that busy. And then right next to it is a pool. So a couple of times a week I'll come here, I'll train, do a bit of work and chill because it gets the sun all day and the music is a bit of a vibe. So I'm very fortunate with the selection of gyms which I actually have on my doorstep here. It's one of the reasons why I moved here in the first place. Like, there's literally so many to choose from. I'd say my top ones, which I'm going to on a regular basis at the moment, is the Warehouse Gym, which is in JBR, because it's just convenient. But it's not the biggest. The other one I go to, Train Strength and Fitness, which I'm gonna show you now. I feel like training there today. That's probably the best gym to go to if you want to go there for a bit of atmosphere. It's where a lot of social media people go. Uh, Binus, where I've been training with Andrew. That's probably like the, the bodybuild gym, I'd say. When you go in there, it's just full of absolutely massive people. It's never too busy. That's a really good place to just get a good workout in. So they're kind of like the main three which I'm going to. And then this place as well, you know, if I just want to come here, train, do a bit of work, grab a little snack, this is also spot on. So I'm mixing it up, keeping it interesting. So if I go to the same gym over and over again, I'm get a little bit bored. So with my training at the moment, I've had to adjust a couple of things because literally from the start of January, my right elbow's been giving me a bit of grief. I can't pinpoint when exactly it happened, but it just, I kind of tried to push through it. And a lot of time when I was doing any kind of bicep exercises, it's just made it worse. So at the moment, I've kind of had to skip bicep training and there's some exercises which, if it's causing me discomfort, I just straight up won't do it. And hopefully it should go away with time, but it's annoying because I haven't been able to like blast my arms as much as I would have liked to have done usually. So at the moment it's kind of just like focusing on legs, shoulders, and you know, back exercises, which don't feel like absolute turd. So that is the session done. Nice little shoulders, back, and tricep workout. Only six exercises. I feel like I needed that. I think one thing I've learned with training with uh, Andrew is I don't need to be doing such excessive volume. You know, I feel like today's the first time in a while I've got like a proper pump on. So it's a good session. So it's quarter past six. Get dark pretty early here. Uh, gonna go back, shower, quick change, and then gonna go out for a dinner tonight. I'm still sticking to that. 80-20 rule. The majority of the food which I've eaten today has been prepped. I've not shown you because I literally just did a video on full day of eating, so there's no point in repeating myself. But I feel like eating out tonight, so I'll show you one of the many places 
you can eat out in Dubai. So the weekends here in Dubai are actually on a Friday and a Saturday, so that means that the busiest nights when people are out and about are on Thursday night and Friday night, so obviously it's very different to you know, the weekend back home. But to be honest, there's always something going on in the day, there's always something going on in the night. There's ladies' days at all these beach clubs, day events, there's brunches. So you can't really get bored out here. The, you know, the only danger is there's actually too much to do. Uh, there's a lot of temptation to go out and about, particularly you know, compared to when I came here in that first week. The first week I arrived, I didn't really know anyone to be honest. But each week I've gone to events, I've networked, and it's, it's, been pretty, it's been pretty good how quickly you can meet people out here because there is a lot of expats. You know, there's a lot of people who have moved from their country and they've resided here. So there's a very big mix of people from different nationalities who are kind of in the same situation to me. You know, there's a lot of people who have come here. They're not really going to be here for the rest of their life. They've come here for a short period of time, whether it be like a couple of months or a couple of years. So it's very easy to meet people. Uh, it's very easy to meet like-minded people. It's a lot of fun. So I'm definitely enjoying it. Oh, what's that noise? Half past eight on the dot. I can only mean one thing. So yeah, basically, if you've ever been to a country and there's a shortage of fireworks, and I tell you what, they're all in Dubai. For some reason, they seem to have stockpiled them, or maybe they just overspent when it came to the New Year's Eve firework display budget. You know, for whatever reason, they set them off almost every single night at 8.30 on the dot. You know, they go off on Monday at 8.30, and I'm like, put a video up on Instagram, and people are like, well, they're celebrating, what's the occasion? And I'm like, you know, it's Monday night, you know, why not? Middle of a car park, just parked up with Louis. I'm gonna go check out Zuma. Been to the one in Nightbridge a few times, so hopefully, the one in Dubai meets the same standards. So, if you've been to Zuma before in London, in Knightsbridge, you know, special for Japanese food, some unbelievable things on the menu, obviously, but. I had to sample a sushi. I'm a big fan of sushi, so went for five different rolls. I'm not gonna reel them off and say what they all are, because I've completely forgotten, but they do look pretty outrageous. So after that ridiculous meal, I can confirm that it is just as good as the one in London. In fact, potentially a little bit better. It's definitely bigger, that's for sure. They look after us there as well, which is nice. We are now on top of a bridge, an abandoned bridge, which I don't know the reason why they just decided not to put this in use, but it's a pretty mental bridge, it's all lit up with blue lights. People just come here to take photos, like me. So, it's late, it's like 11 o'clock, but we're gonna snap a couple of pictures. So, what I've noticed so far from being here over the past three weeks, it is almost impossible to stay indoors on an evening. I don't know why when I was in London, maybe because I was in like a quieter area, like I spent quite a lot of time just in my apartment, but now there's literally so much going on outside my apartment, I just can't help but take a little gander outside. Especially when Louis here, my man, my cameraman, we're always doing something interesting almost every day, every night. Uh, obviously we're editing and doing work, but we're doing some fun stuff as well. So when he's gone, I still find myself out and about, but I believe I'll be with some female company instead of uh, male company. <laughs> but yeah, this place, JBR, like I said, doesn't really sleep. Like, this little road is popping off until like four or five in the morning. And that's one thing I've noticed that like, my body clock's changed a little bit. I'm going to bed at like two o'clock in the evening, waking up about 10 o'clock in the morning don't have an alarm or anything like that, I just wake up when my body wants me to wake up, unless I've got something I need to be awake for first thing in the morning. Right, so that is it folks, 1am, I think man is ready for his bed pretty soon, plus I've got three strippers up there that just need to be tended to, you know. <laughs> I'm kidding! Man's having an early night tonight, got lots to do tomorrow. But yeah, that's a typical day in life for me at the moment, every day is different. In Dubai, it's a pretty crazy place. I actually see the place as a bit of a playground, really. There's lots of fun to be had, and man is not going to be sitting here twiddling his thumbs, watching Netflix. Things to be doing. Things to be seen. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed it.
Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Shout out to Louis for capturing this day and the past two weeks he spent with me. He's going home in two days, emotional times, but he's going to be back again in two weeks. So yeah, wicked. See you in a bit, lads.